Conflict resolution of Susan E. Wagner High School has the unique ability to strive for peace, making magical things happen in a short amount of time. Working with troubled kids or fighting for a worthy cause, we went from the desk of our classroom to the UN boardroom as a family, all together. A wise man, Martin Luther King, once said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can. Hatred cannot drive out hatred. Only love can. We stand together through all the obstacles, hand in hand, and are ready to fight all the battles that face the world. As long as we stick together, we know that we can achieve the greatness. Hi, my name is Jasmine, and I'm from Susan E. Wagner High School, Staten Island, New York. Hi, my name is Halaji, from Susan Wagner High School, Staten Island, New York. Hi, my name is Minar. I'm from Susan E. Wagner High School, Staten Island, New York. Hi, my name is Tuan. I'm from Susan E. Wagner High School, Staten Island, New York. Hi, I'm Sajid, and I'm from Susan E. Wagner High School, Staten Island, New York. And this is our favorite quote that this program has contributed to us, is that we are not alone. One world based on a vision of peace. Our voices join together with yours. This is our hope and our contribution. We cannot escape the fact that violence exists among us, but it's only of ourselves the opportunity to find answers within this violence. And our search for answers begins today. Domestic violence has played a role in my life since I was 13 years old. That's when I found out my mom was a domestic violence survivor. Domestic violence isn't a joke. It starts with a shove or a push and it escalates from there. And it's not to be taken lightly. My mother's one of the strongest people I know. And she taught me a valuable lesson in life. Force is just an object. Strength is far greater. It had a huge impact on my life when I found this out, and I couldn't do much to change the past, but I can do a lot to change the future. Making people aware of the problem and changing it, letting them know that people are there to help them, is all I have to do, and it's what I plan to do to help. Have you ever seen someone, anyone, being pushed around or bullied? Have you ever had the courage to step up and resolve the conflict. Bullying happens every second, every second of every day. And it's gonna continue to happen if we don't do a thing about it. Some people ask me, how do you save a life? I reply, you be their friend. Casey Haynes, a child from Australia, been bullied his entire life. One day, couldn't take it anymore. He stepped up to the bully in an act of violence. It caused the bully to be hurt, and it did resolve the conflict, but that's not the right way. Peace and democracy is what we're all about. Instead of acting in a violent way, instead of saving one life, we could save a thousand. I'm Minar, and I pride myself for being part of the New Strides in Leadership program being able to work with kids who suffer from many different types of disabilities has given me the opportunity to realize the difference between fantasy and reality. My mother always taught me, in order to feel content, I have to do something that makes me feel happy. Well, these kids make me happy. Being able to teach them how to utilize their knowledge when it comes to violence has become the highlight of my life. Because violence is ultimately never the answer for any kind of problem. This is why I'm telling you to stand up, make a change, become a leader. I believe that anyone has the chance to stand up and change the world. Personally, I'm not going to stop till my dreams become my reality and my voice is heard worldwide. I have seen violence from both worlds, from living in Africa to coming to America. In America, I thought that would be the end of violence, that I won't see any violence anymore. But I was surprised by the violence I saw in schools, on the streets. Everywhere I turned, there was violence. I thought running away from Africa and coming to America would be a better day, a greener pastures. In violence, we do not achieve anything but we're tied down because 
together we stand a chance of achieving something so great and so big. But now it's wrong. Kids, parents, there's a good example. You should set the example for kids to see what is good and what's wrong. Hi, I'm Tuan. For some, I'm a friend. For some, I'm a leader. But I'm also a brother to a sister who was victim of teen suicide. I haven't stopped being her brother ever since. She was the most beautiful thing in our family. But now she's gone, but her voice lives within. I know someone is out there, just as beautiful as her, who needs a voice to speak for her, and a body to listen to her. We're here to say, you're not alone. We all have a responsibility to spot that invisible kid and help them out. To gain hope to live as you and I has hope to live.